What's going on, fish fam? Those y'all new to the channel here. My name's Austin, and this is Fantastic Freaks. And this big mess and clutter of glass boxes full of H2O is my fish room. 2023 is officially now in the history books, as we are now a few days at this point in the new year of 2024. And what a great year 2023 was. And what a great year 2024 is already shaping up to be down here. So with that all said, I decided that it'd be kind of cool to do a little year in review video here, kind of glimpsing over again what we all did here in the fish room over the year of 2023. And perhaps some of you here more excitingly get a little glimpse into the future here and uh, see what we got in store here for 2024. Without further ado, fish fam, let's get to the fish. One of the main things we did was we broke out of our just freshwater trend and introduced not one, but two brackish water aquariums. This one being the largest one, a 75 gallon with five green spotted puffers. You see two of them up here in the front right now. Another one chilling down here towards the bottom here. The other ones must be hiding out in the uh, ship. Ah, yep, there's one right there. And there he goes, back again. There he goes again. For about a year, year and a half-ish, just shy of that, they initially lived in a freshwater 20 gallon long aquarium. I got these guys when they were pretty small. And ever since they've made the move in here, they've probably at least grown an inch and a half here. I mean, you look at them here, their color also looking absolutely fantastic. That like neonish green with those black spots that just makes that like green spotted pattern on them just absolutely pop out. It is truly a beautiful puffer. And the thing is they could still get a little bit bigger here yet. And while some may think a 75 might be a little overkill on these guys, I tell you what, these guys utilize the whole footprint from swimming up towards the front as you see a few of them here now. They love to weave through the barrels here as well, as well as our little sunken ship. Maybe they like to play pirates or something. Arrgh. I mean barrels over there and plenty of times I see them swimming there in the background as well. They truly utilize this whole footprint and they look amazing doing so. I have uh, no regrets of uh, no, giving them maybe a little bit bigger of a tank here because uh, their personalities and color have absolutely shown that they're not complaining. But of course, before even we move the green spotted puffers of brackish water, first it was these guys, the figure eight puffers who live inside this 54 gallon corner tank here. You see two of them up front here because as always, the third one, likes to hide for some reason he just has that sixth sense whenever i bring up the camera and he is just nowhere to be found i actually thought about maybe adding some more in here later on here see if maybe that helps him feel more comfortable as a a trio of these guys eh, isn't exactly recommended it's better to have at least four honestly six would be a more ideal number but long story short yeah i'm thinking i want to add a few more in here to maybe uh help give them a, a little more company we tried to add a little more company as some of you might recall with Somalis, but obviously, uh, as you can see, they're not in here anymore. Because alas, uh, the puffers decided that, nah, we don't like you anymore. Yeah, we got the Mollies out of there pretty quick. In the end, I was a little nervous about moving these guys, as well as the green spotted puffers, to brackish water after dealing with mostly freshwater puffers in the past here. But I gotta tell you, so far at least, for the first year, it really hasn't been too hard to maintain. Definitely some challenges don't get it mixed, but in the end, uh, been very happy with the results here. If you want to see also how we transitioned our figure eights and our green spotted, you can check out with the video link up here. Somewhere. Also in 2023, we finally got our 75 gallon hex aquarium up and running. Awesome. Or as we now name it, the murder bean mansion. As you can see up in the front here, we have a whole bunch of little murder beans up in the front here, or another name, a bunch of pea puffers. We have about a dozen living inside this 75 gallon column hex where as you can see a little bit of algae issue in here that we're battling i'm starting to get it a little under control here but definitely uh not going away without a fight somewhere down the road here in 2024 i might get some anubia sleeves to go on top of this because initially i put some moss on there but the algae kind of wiped that out there unfortunately we do have a pretty powerful light underneath that we're starting to run a little lower than we were initially and that's kind of helping bring down the algae as well, but the little pea puffers in here, um, as a lot of you already know, this was the puffer that before there was the Fahaka Puffer Finley, the Mabu, the Amazons, either green spotted or figure eights, which we just saw a moment ago. These guys right here were the first puffer that 
I ever got, and there's a reason why I call it the starter puffer. These guys may be a little teeny tiny guy, but tell you what, they pack big personalities, and they've uh, <laughs> they've packed a big show ever since we put them in this tank here. I like to think that pea puffers here are a great example of that. Sometimes, even though you got a big tank, putting a small little fish in there and just loading it up with multiple of its kind in a big tank, sometimes it's just the coolest thing ever. Also in 2023, I decided to get back into keeping some live bearers here, which actually has not been seen on camera here before, so this is a little bit of new content here. You'll notice that, yeah, we got some platies inside a 20 gallon long here, and looks like our yellow one here, our uh, little lady in here is about ready to pop out some more. Her baby's in here, which as you can see, based on the activity towards the bottom, yeah, it's uh, it's already going pretty well in here. We got a good number of fry in here. I'd say that at least a dozen fry swimming around here. A lot of them like to hang out in that uh, Java Moss, as I'm sure you can all expect. But, I mean, there's actually a good herd of them right over there. I see someone around. They're actually getting pretty good size. I'm thinking I may have to get another tank here soon. Like, I might just get a 20-gallon or something here soon to just uh, get a second tank here just to... Give them something to get all the fry out and maybe we'll start selling them off here. We have right now all the color and such in there. Uh, it seems to be mostly the yellow one and our uh, orange one here that seem to be producing the babies here. A lot of them, as you can see here, mostly have the yellow color. I have noticed a couple of them with a little darker color. I'm suspecting those are going to be more of an orangish color as well. But yeah, looking through the Java Moss and you see that little bit of activity there. Uh, this library tank... Uh, not doing too bad when you see uh, a good number of babies like that swimming around. While we had a lot of big projects throughout the year, none were bigger than the upgrade for our Mabu Puffer, this 510 gallon plywood tank, which uh, also has some new tank mates in it as well. Our Mabu Puffer Mac moved from his 40 gallon breeder all the way up to this 510 gallon beast of a plywood aquarium. Man. As you can see, yeah, he is a... Uh, Definitely put on some size as we put him in here. He was uh, give or take about four and a half, five inches when we moved him into this new home here. And now I'd say, guys, he, uh, I haven't measured him in a while, but I'd say if he's not quite a foot yet, he's got to be getting really, really, really close. Um, he's definitely had a bit of a growth spurt that has been slowly gaining momentum as he spends more time in here. And the bigger and bigger Mac gets, uh, the more and more I'm starting to think that, yeah, we might not be able to keep our uh, some of our mangrove roots back there for much longer. We may have to trim down some of the smaller branches so that he can fit through more. He may he sometimes thinks that he's still that five, six inch Mabu puffer, but like I said before, he's uh, pretty dang close to a foot now, which it's hard to believe. That's not even halfway yet. Uh? As a lot of y'all know though, Mac does not live in this tank alone. He's got about two dozen cardinal tetras living in here with him. About a dozen and a half rummy nose tetras swimming all around as well. And not videoed before, but for the first time now, we also added about a dozen gold tetras in here. They got that beautiful looking and metallic like gold about them. They'll get about the same size as uh, everybody else over here. But uh, as you can see, yeah, we got them when they were a little smaller than the rest, but it's not turned out to be such a bad thing there. The Tetras don't fight. And Mac here, you know, just kind of does his own thing. And this is what I'm talking about, the mangrove roots here. He still likes to weave through them, but uh, you're not that small anymore, buddy. It, uh, he's running out of spaces that he can weave through, but as you can see, he's still got a clear path back there. I maneuvered him around a bit so he doesn't get caught because that would be bad news. But it's still kind of some tight squeezes here and there. We'll definitely have some more updates though coming up on this big fella here in the upcoming months here. The cool thing about the 510 also was it set a new record for the biggest tank down here in the fish room as our previous record was the 240 gallon community tank with our rainbows garamis, and all sorts of community fish. But 2023 was also more than just breaking records. It was also about finally pulling the trigger on some fish that uh, I've been wanting to keep for quite a while here. For a while, we had been talking about pulling the trigger on getting some Oscars here in the fish room. And at long last in 2023, I finally did so. Early in the year, we went ahead and got this Bumblebee Oscar here. And then late in the year of 2023, 
we later got this albino tiger Oscar to join our Bumblebee Oscar as well. And currently, these two live in a smaller tank. They just live in a 50 gallon corner tank here, which obviously is not going to do the trick for too much longer. We've got about another month or two uh, or so, probably at most there, where we're gonna get away with this. But never fear, one of our early goals for 2024 is to give our two Oscars, Yin and Yang here, a tank upgrade. And Yin and Yang here will get quite the tank upgrade indeed. They'll go from this 50 gallon corner all the way up to this 185 gallon bow front where they'll be able to grow to their full potential and glory. And as you can see, we've already gotten started with some sand. Um, not sure how that got in there. I promise that's not part of the decor process. But as you can also see, we have some uh, plants in here that I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and use in here. I may also try to throw some Anubiuses in here, but obviously Oscars can sometimes have a bad reputation for plants and such. So I might start slow and try some plastic plants with them. And if they don't dig those up, maybe we'll move on to like some ferns and Anubiuses and such as we stick them on some rocks and wood, which is kind of what I'm thinking for the aquascape here. Currently, I haven't got a full picture of it in my mind yet, but mostly rocks and wood here with some little caves down there as we also want to include some other fish with our two Oscars in here. What I'm thinking of for some tank mates with the Oscars here, looking over to our once upon a time biggest tank here, as we spoke of actually just a moment ago, our 240 community tank, where we have a bunch of rainbows, garamis, um, we got some uh, Colombian silver dollars in here. You can see the rose lion sharks swimming down there. Everybody in here has had a little bit of a growth spurt inside this tank. So despite the fact that it's a six foot long tank, two feet front to back, yeah, it's uh, starting to look a little crowded in here. So I'm thinking maybe to help uh, lessen the traffic inside this tank here, I'm thinking it would be cool to take our five Colombian silver dollars out of this tank here and have them come on over into the 185 with our two Oscars and join them in the 185 bow front here later on. For the silver dollars, it may be a smaller tank here for them, but I really don't view it as a downgrade because as you saw, that 240, yeah, it's, uh, it's getting a little packed in there. So taking them out of there, giving them a little more free roaming space to swim in here uh, with the Oscars and such. Uh, should definitely help give them a little more space, not to mention the rainbows in the 240 here as well. Um, debating whether or not I'm maybe putting some sort of bottom dweller down here with those seven, just to cap it off there. Um, namely, I'm thinking maybe a freshwater eel would be kind of cool, but haven't fully decided one way or another on that. Uh, more obviously coming on this tank here soon, but definitely look out for some updates on this tank in the uh, first few months of the year here. Speaking of some early projects for the year here, of course we are already working on our 275s here. Y'all saw the video where we built this two level 75 gallon stand here. We already got one of the 75s down here below. Um, you'll notice that obviously this doesn't have a center brace, not to worry though. Um, this is just an older style tank, the glass being half inch thick here. This brace here is basically just to hold the lids here and such, which we have up here. Uh, they're a little dirty, so I'm probably going to give them a little bit of a cleaning before we uh, put them on here. Lids aren't the only one that needs the cleaning. The tank still needs a little uh, cleaning up here, too. As you can see, good deal of dirt here on the ground here, yeah, as well as on the walls here. So definitely needs a little bit of uh, wipe downs here and such. I usually use hot water and vinegar here. Usually uh, cleans these tanks right up very nicely and such. So. Could probably do a couple deals of that there and before too much longer we'll be ready to go with this tank here. Unfortunately our top one here, um, one of our 75 from the store unfortunately did not make it through as unfortunately the center brace snapped oh, no. as we were trying to bring it in the door so uh, unfortunate news there to say the least but uh, working on trying to get something else up here probably just another 75 uh, technically a 90 would work as well I don't know if we'll go that route but we'll see what uh, life gives us here and of course the whole reason behind those two tanks is to provide upgrades for a couple of our other fish here namely our Exodon Tetris who currently zip around in this 55 gallon tank here as well as our four Amazon puffers who currently live in a 38 gallon tank and are uh, probably not just due for an upgrade, they're probably overdue, guys. So moving the Exodons as well as the Amazons over here, 
that's going to free up all this space here so that we can uh, maneuver this 185 bow front over to here in the center and uh, free up a little more space over here. And once, of course, once the Oscars and all others move into this tank right here, we'll be able to break down this 50 gallon corner, which honestly might go somewhere over there once we get that little hex out of the way. I haven't fully decided if we're gonna keep it up and running in a new location or not here. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see us maybe do something with it and maybe that'll help me come to a decision, but we'll put that 185 somewhere along this area here. Our 275s here housing the green spotted puffers as well as Hercules, our crossover puffer who's chilling out over there in the corner here. Those two tanks will also get moved here towards the center of the fish room. And then guys, we got about 12 to 13 ish feet from the edge of our stack of a washer and dryer there to near the edge of our uh, plywood tank there. Obviously we don't want to go end to end there and take away from the uh, overall view of our plywood tank back here. But uh, thinking that, you know, if these all are out of the way from this wall here and put more towards the center here, it might just open up a potential uh, bigger project here on this side of the wall. I'm not going to say that may open up here in 2024, but well, maybe late in 2024, we might talk about what I'm envisioning potentially over here on this back wall. But uh, if all else, if it doesn't happen this year, maybe early to mid 2025 otherwise might be when we get to that. But uh, starting to take a motion on it there too. We'll definitely uh, speak a little bit about that before this year is through. But of course, what other project could take precedent here in 2024 over the fact of we're finally getting the queen of the fish room, our Fahaka Puffer Finley here, a tank upgrade as well. There's a reason we call her the queen of the fish room, because uh, as I said, not many fish can uh, pull off a feat of making a 150 look small, but uh, she does that exactly. And uh, as you'll notice, we added a little more sand to her tank here. It was starting to get a little scarce in there. But we are move eventually going to move her out of this 150 here. What are we putting into? Well, we're working on that right now, and it's happening right next door as Finley's been pointing out to us over here. Some of you might be wondering, what the heck am I looking at over here? Uh, this is the stand to Finley's soon to be new aquarium. Yes, we've talked about it for probably about a year, maybe better, but we're finally working on building the queen of the fish room here, a plywood aquarium that's gonna stand right exactly where her previous tank here once stood here. The 150 after we move Finley over there might get pushed down, maybe one more slot or something there as uh, this tank does still stand out two feet here. And as you can see, yeah, it does cover up a little more of this area than I would like, but sometimes uh, Finley here does like her privacy, so I don't know. I might move the 150 over later. I might leave it alone. And we'll see what happens here, but uh, a ways to go here yet before this project even gets done here. But as you can see, towards the end of 2023 and early 2024, we've already gotten uh, pretty good progress on the stand here. Mostly right now, we just got the base and the legs done here. Um, the base is just uh, two layers of two by fours that we've made uh, interlocking here with each other. Um, what this does here, the reason why I did it as such, is this will help spread out the weight throughout the uh, entire bottom part of the sand. We're probably gonna put some sort of sheet of plywood on the bottom here as well. Probably not this press wood here. Press wood is uh, not the best thing to uh, put on a plywood tank. Trust me, it's probably not gonna go well if you go that route. Put something down here to also help distribute the weight throughout the stand even more so. And then of course the legs here as well. You'll notice we got like a little uh, a difference between the two here. That's about two inches here. And the reason why is when we build the tabletop stand part, we'll be going ahead and uh, what will happen is the top part of the stand will rest on like that little shelf that we have here. And it's pretty much just flush with that right up there, uh, the top of our legs here. And what that shelf does, is it gives us a little more solidity for our uh, top of the stand here, which will be resting on all that. Not to mention, we'll also have some screws on this side, probably on the back side as well. 
holding this all in place with some wood glue, of course, because wood glue just adds that much more strength, so why not? We're anticipating once the tank is already and complete here, um, hopefully we'll get that done um, before the summer of this year here. We'll see what all happens with all the other projects here and how well they progress here, which will probably determine how quickly this gets done here, because in the end, while I uh, definitely want to give the queen here an upgrade, you know, she's still okay in her 150 here not a dire need but uh can't wait to see what uh, she looks like when we get this thing done here and once it's done we're talking about somewhere around the 300 to 310 gallons uh once this thing is completed if you're interested in learning a little more detail of exactly how we've gotten this far with the legs and the base of the stand here and just everything that you see Right here now and currently we've basically done it all in a bunch of live streams probably going to do a few more here as we progress with this project here we'll definitely do some more videos as this thing uh, gets further along in the process here as well the fish room it's changed a lot over 2023 and it's going to change even more so as we go through 2024 but let me know what you guys think in the comments below what do you think what's your favorite thing that we did in 2023 what are you looking forward to the most here in 2024 here if you like this little year in review and peek to the future video, give this video a thumbs up. It helps a lot with that YouTube algorithm there as we continue to try to grow and reach out to more people in the fish fam and fish hobby here as well. If you're new here and have not done so already, consider clicking that subscribe button as well as the bell to stay in the loop with everything I do down here. But that'll do it for this video. Hope you all had an awesome Christmas and what great time welcoming in the new year. I will see you all in my next video, fish fam. As always, stay fantastic.